Why do autoimmune diseases disproportionately affect women? Let's take a closer look at this important question. Autoimmune diseases are the third most prevalent disease category, outpaced only by cancer and heart disease. These disorders occur when the immune system, which usually defends the body against harmful invaders like bacteria and viruses, attacks healthy tissues, causing inflammation and tissue damage. What's really striking is that these disorders disproportionately affect women. Women account for 80% of all autoimmune patients. Understanding why these diseases occur more frequently in women, their implications, and how they can be managed is a crucial area of scientific study. Women are especially prone to autoimmune disorders. Here are some of the most common autoimmune diseases that disproportionately affect women. Lupus, also known as systemic lupus erythematosus, is a chronic condition that can affect the skin, joints, kidneys, heart, and lungs. It's actually nine times more common in women than in men. Rheumatoid arthritis is a condition that involves chronic inflammation of the joints, and it's actually three times more common in women. Multiple sclerosis, or MS, affects the central nervous system and, interestingly, is twice as common in women. Hashimoto's thyroiditis is a condition that affects the thyroid gland, and it's significantly more prevalent in women. Sjogren's syndrome is also an autoimmune disease that targets the glands responsible for producing moisture. This leads to symptoms such as dry eyes and dry mouth, and interestingly, it affects women much more often than men. Women have about 28 trillion cells, each with two X chromosomes, while men have approximately 36 trillion cells, each with an X and a Y chromosome. In women, most genes on one of the two X chromosomes are silenced in every cell. This process makes each woman a functional mosaic because some cells express genes from one X chromosome and other cells express genes from the other chromosome. Essentially, women inactivate one X chromosome per cell to match the gene expression levels found in men. Every cell in a woman's body epigenetically silences one of the two X chromosomes through the action of a long non-coding RNA called X inactive specific transcript or EXIST. EXIST is transcribed from the X chromosome that's going to be inactivated, and it coats that chromosome, triggering gene silencing and other epigenetic changes. Not all genes are silenced on the inactivated chromosome. In fact, about 15% of X-linked genes escape X chromosome inactivation. And or this reason, the same small number of genes are expressed from both X chromosomes. The sex biases in autoimmune diseases may be partially explained by X-linked gene overexpression and X-chromosome inactivation abnormalities. When X-chromosome inactivation is incomplete, some genes, for example CD4OL and TLR7, escape silencing. Overexpression of these genes can enhance immune reactivity, promoting autoimmunity. Currently, there is no cure for most autoimmune diseases but various treatments can help manage symptoms and improve quality of life. Medications like immunosuppressive drugs, corticosteroids, and biologics are commonly used to control inflammation and immune system activity. So, maintaining a healthy diet, engaging in regular exercise, and managing stress can help reduce symptom severity. Practices such as acupuncture, meditation, and yoga may provide relief for some women. Frequent checkups and collaboration with healthcare providers are essential to track disease progression and adjust treatments as needed. Epigenetic therapy strategies involving cyst may well be the future treatment of autoimmune diseases in women. Several different strategies may be employed. Restore proper cyst function. Therapy might aim to address this specifically. Restore cyst localization to the inactive X chromosome to reactivate proper silencing of X-linked immune genes, for example, TLR7 and CD40L.
Other potential approaches being explored include using small molecules or long non-coding RNA to stabilize ZIST. Another strategy involves CRISPR to reinforce heterochromatin marks at ZIST target sites. Autoimmune diseases can profoundly impact various aspects of a woman's life. This includes chronic pain, fatigue, and organ dysfunction, which may limit daily activities and reduce quality of life. Living with an autoimmune condition can also lead to anxiety, depression, and feelings of isolation. The unpredictability of flare-ups can make mental health challenges even harder to manage. Some autoimmune diseases, such as lupus, can affect fertility and pregnancy. Women with autoimmune conditions may face higher risks of complications during pregnancy, such as preterm birth or miscarriage. The financial burden of treatment, frequent visits to healthcare providers, and potential loss of employment due to physical limitations contribute to the social and economic challenges faced by women with autoimmune diseases. Through research, education, and advocacy, we can provide better support and treatment options for women living with autoimmune diseases. Read more in the Informed Woman magazine.